Hey everyone, I'm Katie and I'm here at EP and LP where I have challenged two of LA's most creative chefs to make a dish featuring a food item that is absolutely positively hated by a self-proclaimed picky eater and they're gonna try to get them to love it. Will it be seafood? Will it be Brussels sprouts? Will it be cottage cheese? Let's go meet our picky eater, find out what they hate so we can feed it to them. Hi, I am Destiny and I am a picky eater. Hey Destiny. Hello, hey everybody, what's up? <laughs> I'm very picky, I'm trying to work on it, but it's just really hard. Some foods just taste nasty, the texture is horrible, and I just can't do it. My top 10 most hated foods are mushrooms, cottage cheese, avocado, sweet potato, blue cheese, zucchini, squash, tomatoes, onions, and peas. The thought of eating foods that I hate, I don't know why, it just makes me nervous. Like, I'm not gonna die, but it's just like, bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> It's just a really nerve-wracking feeling. Like, I'm so nervous. All right, guys, Destiny, really picky eater. We've got her in the back, and what she doesn't know is that she's gonna be trying two dishes with everyone's favorite edible fungus, mushrooms. So let's go meet our chefs and find out what they're cooking up. Hi, guys, I'm Ellen Bennett, and I used to cook professionally, but now I run Headley and Bennett. So today I'm gonna make Destiny mushroom lasagna, and I'm gonna use four mushrooms to do it. I think she's not even gonna know what hit her, and I'm really excited to see if she likes them. I'm pretty sure I can turn this picky eater into a believer. Let's get to work. I'm going to start with getting some oil into my pan. I'm gonna start with celery, parsnips, and shallots. I love shallots. They don't punch you in the face like an onion. And you know, they had a baby with a garlic. What could go wrong? This is starting to get some color, it's nice. I'm gonna go ahead and add the mushrooms now. So I'm gonna throw this in now. I took trumpet mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms, cremini mushrooms, and portobello mushrooms. So four mushrooms. I'm gonna move on to my bechamel. I'm gonna throw our garlic in. I cut a shallot very quickly because I wanted to add that in. I'm just gonna let that shallot go a little bit here. Oh man, that smells so like velvety butter magic. Now I'm gonna get cornstarch. This is cornstarch and I'm adding water to it. I'm gonna make a quick little paste. I can add it here and just whisk it in. Pretty immediately thickens. You can add the milk. You want to have it room temp, which I have it at. So this becomes a really beautiful, creamy substance that like binds everything together, it's like the glue. I'm gonna add pepper to it, salt. This is looking really good. I'm gonna salt these guys too. I'm gonna add some garlic to the mushrooms. This is starting to brown. This is almost ready here. Oh, so good. Hey, I melted a little bit more butter in there and now I am going to deglaze. Yes. Woo! Yes! And you wanna scrape those suckers in. You cannot leave a man behind. You gotta get all of them. And then I'm gonna throw the lasagna in. The noodles that I already have in my hand. I'm throwing them in over here, just super quick. So they're like, like a noodle, but not like a super noodle, like a medium noodle, you know? noodle -y, if you will. And we're almost ready. Now it's like the final countdown. This is looking so beautiful. Magical, magic. A little more of that. One more layer. I've done this three times now. I'm just gonna let it go. I'm not gonna add more liquid. This guy, ready to go. I'm gonna add a little Parmesan to this. And if you have Parmesan rind, you can add that in here too. Okay, so I've got my chinois. I'm really just gonna drain this to get all of the magical bits out of there. This is great. Our mushrooms are great. And kind of like we did with the wine, I'm getting all of that beautiful layer on the bottom. If you could only smell this. We're ready to build. Let's do this. More importantly, hold on. Mmm. Magic. Okay, here we go. So we did three layers of pasta, two and a half layers of Parmesan. We threw the mushroom bolognese inside in between each layer. Then we're gonna do sage because come on, you gotta get that Instagram moment. Now we're gonna throw it in the oven. I'm gonna cover it with aluminum foil at 30 minutes. I'm gonna take it off, broil it, and bam, we're done. I'm gonna go ahead and plate this and I'm so excited to see what Destiny thinks. You can add a couple other layers of things. I hit it with a little bit more olive oil, a little bit of 
fresh Parmigiano Reggiano on here and a touch of pepper, a little bit of parsley, and it's ready to go. Let's do this. Hi, my name is Sable Verganza and I'm the new head chef at EP and LP restaurant in West Hollywood. Today I'm making Destiny something that's currently on our menu, a mushroom dandan noodle. I'm actually using an oyster and a shiitake mushroom, very Asian mushrooms to use, and I'm incorporating them in small pieces in a sauce that's on top of the noodles. So I totally think I could make Destiny a mushroom lover. Let's get cooking. So the start of this uh, dandan noodle dish is actually really in the chili garlic paste that we make beforehand. So we cook down a lot of shallots, a lot of garlic, and some oil, and then we put some Szechuan, uh, Szechuan peppercorn. In the paste, we soaked some uh, dried California, puya, and Thai chilies, and then we put some soybean paste. So it's fermented soybeans. And then that's you use uh, soy sauce to flavor it and some sugar. And this right here is our actual final sauce that we cook the mushrooms in as a base of our dish. So these are our fresh wheat noodles. It actually only takes three minutes to cook. It's a very fast pickup because we're working with a wok station right here. The wok station is actually my favorite station. I think it's the most fun. So you want to heat up the wok first before adding the oil. If you put the oil and heat up the wok, you'll have a burnt taste instead of a smoky taste. To flavor the oil a little bit, you get a little garlic and salad flavor. You can see that gets brown really quickly. This is a mix of pet shiitake and oyster mushrooms. You want to stir fry it in the wok and get that brown flavor. But you want to keep the wok moving because there's a difference between char and burnt. So at a high heat, you keep it moving. You get that flavor, you get that even toss. Get that fire, firework going. Then we'll add our chili paste that we've made already. That's right here that I showed you the ingredients for. Good amount, because that's like where all the flavor is. It's already cooked out, but you want to caramelize it a bit. Those mushrooms are sponges. They're going to absorb all the chili and the garlic that we already cooked down in prep time. Add a little more seasoning. Add some soy sauce and some, a little bit of sweet soy for sweetness. I add some veg stock. Start reducing it down. So you see it's starting to thicken and thicken. So it just tastes like savory. The vegetable stock which you made is actually infused with a lot of ginger and some lemongrass in there. This is our house veg stock. To finish, I add toasted ground sesame seeds and it adds like a voluptuousness, thickness. All right, the noodles are cooked. They have a bit of chew on them. We take the noodles out of the water boiler, put it into our bowl. It's all reduced down, thick, nice. We'll pour it all over our noodles. Next, this is our black vinegar. And then I'll put some chili flake to give us some a little more spice and a little more color. This is a ginger scallion uh, relish that we make in house. We have some scallion jewels, a little cilantro. I like this with a lot of cucumber because it really is like such a warm, savory dish. You need this much herb, this much cucumber, this much ginger, and this much vin vinegar to really balance it out. Here we go. Mushroom dandan noodles. All right, Destiny. Hello. How are you feeling? I'm nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Like, ugh, my stomach is literally like turning. Have we ever steered you wrong at Tasty before? I mean, this is the absolute worst BuzzFeed video I have ever been in. Oh, this is like the. Okay, we absolutely, but okay, we did. <laughs> but that, that was the past, that was in the past. Let's, this Let's is move new. forward. We're, We're moving, moving forward, forward. like yes. a good relationship. Yes. I really think that these two dishes could change your mind. I'm open. Are you open? open. You're I'm so open. Okay. Well, I'm very excited. I guess we should just get the dishes out here and we'll, we'll give it a try. Let's do it. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, these look delicious. Yeah, they do. Can you tell what we're gonna feed you? Honestly, they smell delicious. Yeah. Like, I cannot tell what's in them. <laughs> it is very hard. Yeah, I which is a good thing. That's like, great. Right? Which one are you gonna try first? Let's try this guy first. Okay. All right. Go for it. I'm like nervous and excited <sighs> for you. You're nervous? <laughs> That is so good. That is so good is the quote. Oh my God. And you're eating something you hate, but you don't know what it is. I don't know what it is <laughs> and I'm scared. Do you have any guesses now? Mm, yeah. I'm guessing mushroom. <gasps> good guess, it is a mushroom. <laughs> Are you tasting mushroom? I'm not tasting mushroom. Ooh. Like a little spice on it. Yeah. The noodles, oh, it's just delicious. Honest? All right, so success. success. And you still have a second one to try. I'm so, so excited. Ready? Yes, let's okay, do it. Let's get that in there. 
Swaparoo. Swaparoo. That was my biggest fear, the mushroom. Yeah, and so it's, it's like, not scary at all. Not at all. No. All right, we'll get, do it. get in there. Ready? God. You keep smelling it. Okay. Mm. So good. <laughs> it's so, is it so good? Yep, try it. You have to okay. try this. Okay, here we go. Girl. Wow. That is delicious. I could eat this every night. So then you have a really hard decision to make. I do. It seems like you both you love both of these a lot, I but did. you have to decide on one. They're gonna break some chef's heart. Oh no. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. You're fine, like, they'll be okay. Okay, um, between the two, Yeah. I'm gonna have to go with this guy. Oh my gosh, I thought it was gonna be the lasagna. <laughs> Oh my gosh, both were so good. So delicious, both were so this good. This was a tight race. I would say that in my eyes, we are all still winners here because we helped her make mushrooms part of her life in the future. Woohoo! Well, Chef Sable, thank you so much for making this for me. It was so good. Thank you so much. And if you ever want to try it again, it's actually on the menu right now as a vegan down down dish. So okay. come back and visit me and try the rest of the dishes yeah. at EP and LP. Thank you, Sable. You are literally changing lives. <laughs> um, so leave in the comments if there are foods you think you hate and maybe we can make believers out of you. I am Katie and thank you guys for watching. Let's eat. Yes. Forget about them. Let's Please. go. So good. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, yes.